Hey, Shannon Bernard. It's Viola. How are you doing? Okay, I wanted to quickly go through your website here, go through a couple of your competitors, and then talk about a couple of things that I can help you with. So I see you guys do have an immediate call to action, which I love. That's great because 99% of the people that land on your website are going to be using their mobile phone, so it's good for that to be easily accessible. Okay, you have a few outbound links here. All right, some social links. Good. Okay, these look clickable. All right, more services. Love the organic photos. Very good, very good. Um, and Google reviews. All right, and that's it. Okay, so Google likes to see at least 1,500 to 2,000 words of content, and that's for two reasons. Number one, the main reason is because Google has crawlers. They're crawling the content because they're trying to figure out what areas you serve and what services you offer. So the more content you have on here, the more you're going to look like an expert in their eyes. And in addition to that, you want to beat out their competitors. So, or your competitors. So if your competitors had about a thousand words on here, then you want to have about 1500, etc. And in that content, you want to have words that people are looking for, particular keywords. So for example, if somebody is looking for pressure washing in in Nashville, right? And you guys have this on here a bunch of times on your home page, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And Google is going to be willing to put you higher up in the search results for more people to be able to find you. So for example, when you go to Google and you type in pressure washing in Nashville, Tennessee, um, the first thing you see are these three companies right here. And these three companies are pretty much getting the bulk of the business because they are at the top. Now, um, this area right here is what we call the map pack because it's, di it's located directly next to the map. And this has everything to do with your business name, address, and phone number, which is simply called a citation. So the more citations you have, the more you're going, the higher up you're going to rank for this area right here. Now you and I both know if we click on this right here, you're going to find probably about 10 other pages of businesses that are doing the same thing that you guys are doing in the same area. But only these three, nobody goes past page one for anything on Google, right? So we kind of stick to this as far as um, who's going to get ranked. So the strategy to win here is to find out exactly how many citations Allegiance Pressure Washing has. So for example, if they have 77, then you guys want to get at least 150 so you know you're outranking them month after month after month. And then you have this section down here. Um, Pro Wash Nashville looks like a... a, a um, a local company that's doing the same thing you guys are doing in your area. So I went ahead and pulled them up and just to take a look at their business. So this is their site. Um, pretty straight to the point, not a whole lot. In fact, they don't have a ton of content on here. So it tells me you guys have an opportunity to outrank them when it comes to the content. But aside from that, what is helping them to rank so high is, is are a few other key factors. So I'm going to hop over to this tool that I use called ARES. It just allows me to see the back end of a site and what's going on with it. Um, the first thing you'll see here is the DR. And the DR is essentially a power flow with Google. And the UR is a trust flow. And these numbers are increased based off of something called a backlink. And all a backlink simply is, is an endorsement from another company. So they, that company would have a clickable link on it. And when you click on it, it in turn transfers that client over to your page and in turn passes trust and it passes power over to the 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 page that the link takes them to right and but we could obviously click in here and see what's working for them and how it could work for you but I want to talk about some of these keywords so let's take a look at what's working for them and how they're getting in front of these clients so right here Nashville pressure washing right? 400 people look for this particular keyword on a monthly basis. This company is in the number two position and they get 142 calls per month just from this one keyword. You see that? Then you have pressure washing Nashville. This is a totally different keyword than this one. 450 people are looking for this one and they are in the number three position for that and they get 65 calls. I usually stop at two, but I'm going to go to this one because this is the keyword we used, right? And it says pressure washing Nashville, Tennessee, 150 people look for that keyword. They're in a number two position and a different 58 clients call for this particular keyword. So this is obviously a really good um, niche that you guys are in. And the good thing about these keywords is these are the type of keywords you want to have on your website because the more people that are going to be able to find your website turns into the more people that are going to be able to call you and then it's going to turn into the more clients that you guys are going to be able to land. So I want to hop over to your site in the same tool. Um, and this is pretty typical. This is a normal for a website that hasn't really been marketed. 
or if you haven't worked with a marketer, this is totally normal. But again, it's just really important to number one, get some more content on that homepage. Number two, get those keywords into that content. And then number three, get some high quality backlinks to help power your website and to help propel it forward. So again, I hope this was super helpful for you guys. I look forward to speaking with you guys a little bit later. Have a great afternoon. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.